Rapid changes in technology are reshaping the way we educate. More than ever, education is taking place in a digital learning environment. A massive open online course, or MOOC, is a unique approach to education. All the course material is presented online. Classes were scheduled at times that didn't fit the students' uh, demands, basically. That didn't mean that students didn't want to follow the classes, because afterwards they would come to classes in the evening or would watch the classes online. So there was clearly a market for an online version of, of the course, basically. Leiden University has launched massive open online courses as one way to reshape traditional forms of education. In the last video, we explored the assumption that terrorists are mentally ill or psychotic. Lectures are recorded on video and students can interact with the professor online. The main goal of, of this course was to uh, contribute to a more nuanced debate about terrorism and, and to teach people things. Well, the participants in this, in this MOOC came actually from 153 different countries. When doing questionnaires, trying to ask people's opinion, it's very difficult. But now I had this audience of 26,000 people from 160 countries. There were students from all different uh, age categories. As far as I know, the youngest student taking part in this course was actually 16 and the oldest student, somebody who actually mailed me at the end of this course, was uh, an American judge of 85 years old. So I immediately uh, thought of this opportunity to use that audience, uh, an educated audience, an interested audience, uh, to give me feedback. So I added a lot of questions also for research purposes about, for instance, opinions about terrorism, what are they afraid of, how do they see the future of terrorism connected to academic literature on that subject. Um, we asked them about definitions of terrorism and now we can compare, for instance, the ideas about terrorism between people in Russia and Colombia or people in countries like the Netherlands or Switzerland. And that's an incredible tool and you get it for free. In an online forum, students can discuss the weekly subjects and exchange ideas. Students from around the globe can enrol for free. One of the most important aspects in, in the success, potentially, of a MOOC is what happens on the student forum. The way students interact with each other and with the teacher. I like a lot about the MOOC that you can meet a lot of different people from different places in the world with different opinions and it's nice to exchange those ideas and, and thoughts. Something that I appreciate is that you have a lot of different people from different parts of the world. So sometimes it's a good way to test your ideas. Sort of like a hyperbaric chamber where you can just insert your idea and people can attack it and you can see where, where, the, where the faults are and you can make it watertight. Yeah. Sorry, I thought Daniel was going to talk. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. What can we do as civilians? Good question. Thank you. Uh, maybe Daniel. One of the most important advantages of MOOCs is that it, it introduces innovation in on-campus teaching. And to give you some examples, um, what we now see is that there is an increased trust in the quality of peer grading. In a way, a MOOC allows us to experiment with, with this way of, of grading, uh, grading exams. And, and from the evaluations we already got in, uh, we, we, can, we can state that students appreciated this, this way of grading and, and also indicated that they learned a great deal from it. In one of our honors classes, our students are not studying from a book but we bought a MOOC for them. So they're now using that and we're actually researching what that means for their learning. Well, what was very confronting uh, and that helped me to rethink also education, research, etc. in my field of terrorism and counterterrorism studies is that if you stay academic, if you stick to the research and don't give your opinion, which we normally do as lecturers sometimes, but you have to refrain from that and, and really say, well, some have said this, the other said that, my personal opinion is this, um, and that, that helped me a lot, to be aware of the differences of opinion, different cultures, and, and to really reach a truly global audience. I could never have imagined before this course uh, I could actually, that I would actually witness a student from Nepal discussing an EU law issue with a student from Madagascar and a student from Bolivia online. 
And that is actually what happened. And for a teacher, that is a priceless experience.